Good morning, Seminole. I'm Caden. And I'm Hunter. And we're at Universal Orlando's Halloween Horror Nights 27. This is not a test. Hey, I'm here with Director of Houses, Mr. Charles Gray. How are you doing today? I'm doing awesome, man. My first question for you is, what is the most challenging factor while creating the houses? Probably the most challenging thing is knowing that when you're going through a house, you are going through quick, you're scared, it's highly intense. How do we tell a good story while going through the house when things are just like snapshots? You're just getting things real quick, so quick imagery. How do you tell a great story with real quick snippets? We were here last year, and we're just kind of curious, what is going to set this season up from last season? Like what is just going to blow it out of the water from the previous years? Well, we have a really strong uh, list of IPs or uh, movies, television that we're representing here. We got The Shining American Horror Story. We got Saw, uh, The Horrors of Blumhouse. Uh, we have Ash vs. Evil Dead. But also, our original stories this year are crazy intense. We have The Fallen. We have all the uh, zombies and, and dead waters. Uh, we have some amazing content. The Scarecrows are are rating really high with creeping the, the creep factor this year so come to Scarecrow for sure. Do you feel it's more productive when you combine three houses together such as the Blumhouse? Like, do you feel like you get more bang for your buck in, in an essence? I think um, really in this day and age we're all just used to seeing like quick tweets and things like that so I think we're all kind of in that mindset anyway of just seeing quick blips of information so in a way it kind of plays to that but also we like to take uh, some houses to take a full long story like Scarecrow from beginning to end. So either way, you're getting a, a great experience. Thank you so much. That's it for this morning. Have a great Seminole day. Stay classy, Seminole.